Oh, hello, 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 everybody. Can everybody hear me okay? Let me just unmute some people. Can you all guys all hear me okay? Kathy, can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Everybody can hear me, eh? Good stuff. Yep, we can hear you. Right on, right on. Hi, Jenny. How are you? <laughs> yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm just looking for Angela right now. I see. Angela, can you hear me? I see Angela here, but I think she's trying to get on with the sign. Maybe. You guys still driving, Jen? Just, uh, just coming into B dot. <laughs> You're coming into B dot. Hey. At a hey. Pace. I'm going to mute everybody for one second. I'm looking for Angela. There's Angela. Let me see on mute. Can you hear me? There's Angela. There we go. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing tonight? Fantastic. How are things in Seattle, Washington this evening? Well, you see, I have a sweater on tonight because it's a little chilly. I'm not complaining because I just got back from Kansas City this weekend. So it was 90 degrees and very humid. So it was a little chilly, but I like it. I'm not complaining. It's great. Fabulous here. Oh, that's great. Well, I am so pumped about this call tonight. I'm so excited for this call. And this is actually the first time that I've ever done a training call from my fishing lodge in Northern Quebec. So we're gonna maybe put the test here to our, to our internet system here. And uh, however, I do have a backup, Angela, that if I happen to get blown off the air or something, then Paul Austin will uh, be happy uh, to take over the call, or I'm sure Jen Moyer, one of my teammates for sure. So I am absolutely thrilled to have you on the call tonight and do our training for Monday, June 11th, 2018. I'm really, really pumped. So, by the way, Terry, I love the scenery in the background. Okay, oh, that's that's beautiful. That gorgeous? The frog, oh my gosh, the, the frog, for. the frog, you probably can't hear the frogs and stuff in the background, can you? No, I can't hear the frogs. No. See for a second. Can you can you hear them now? Yeah. Yes, I did. I heard something chirp, <laughs> like a bird or a frog. One of the <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, there's those are frogs. <laughs> so the joy. Of, wow. The joys of being in a network marketing company and building your business. You're able to do these calls from wherever. So I'm really really excited to to um, be on this call tonight and to have you uh, as our, our guest speaker and and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce you in just a just a minute and I'm gonna wait for a few more people to get on the call here people are logging on we're only a couple minutes past the half hour right now so welcome everybody it's great to see so many faces on the call I see Paul Austin and Terry Randall and Kathy Gage from out in Atlanta Canada and we've got Lana Contos. Hey, Lana, nice to see you. Who else? We got Evelyn. We've got Ellen. Lori and Jen just made a road trip to Ellen and are just pulling into Brantford now and jumped on the call as they drive back. So thanks for being on the call, Jen and Lori. It's great to, great to have everybody on the call. So I'm really, really, really excited tonight um, to have Angela Brown uh, to do our training. And last week, as you guys will remember, we had uh, Dr. Lana Contos on the call last week. And Dr. Lana is a personal enrollment of Angela Brown. So that's how the connection goes. They are two absolutely dynamic, wonderful, wonderful ladies. Um, I'm so pumped that they have joined the rest of our team in Vox Life 
um, to bring to us their knowledge, their experience. They, they um, uh, Lake, Lake Lana and has built an amazing business before in network marketing. He is a very, very, um, just give me one second here. I'm going to meet everybody again here. Just one second. Okay. Okay. Sorry, Angela, I got you unmuted now again. There we go. Yeah. So um, they're uh, both very experienced. Um, Lana Contos is a personal enrollment of Angela Brown, um, a dynamic person, um, very great training last week. And, and so it is my pleasure to have Angela on now. Angela is the founder and president of Empowering Actions, LLC. Her company provides leadership and coaching and training to organizations and individuals worldwide. Um, Angela is a certified John C. Maxwell. Now, some of you might know who John C. Maxwell is. John C. Maxwell does a training certification for speakers, world-renowned training, um, very, very uh, thorough. Um, he's not cheap, and uh, but it is very, very uh, – it's, it's amazing and it's a great accolade to say that you are a, a graduate, a, a certified John C. Maxwell coach and speaker and trainer. And she also serves as a leadership coach for the uh, Fukua School of Business at Duke University for their global executive MBA students. She has trained over 1,700 business owners and executives in the U.S., Canada, Puerto Rico, Australia, teaching leadership, sales, and communication skills. And prior to uh, starting her own firm in 2003, Angela spent over 20 years in corporate America managing teams as uh, a marketing, sales, and business development executive in the healthcare insurance uh, sectors for sure. And she's a very, very successful entrepreneur, and she spent over 10 years developing and growing a multi-million dollar corporate wellness and training company, uh, Workplace Spa, which she sold in 2008. She's been recognized by the Kansas City Business Journal as a woman who means business. Wow, does she ever. I'm so excited to have her. Recognized on the cover of Empowering Women magazine as one of the top direct sales earners in the nation. She holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in business with an emphasis in human resource management from Linwood University in St. Louis. Angela is married to her husband, Tim, of 30 years and has three Grown children, and I am delighted to have her on her on her call. She resides in Seattle, Washington, right now. And so, without further delay, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you tonight our leader and our trainer for tonight's call, Miss and Mrs. Angela Brown from Seattle, Washington. Take it away, Angela. Terry, oh my goodness, thank you. Can I just take you with me on all of my travels as I go around the country training people? Because to have us be a two-person two show would be awesome. So thank you for that very um, nice introduction. I just have to just say that when I hunted you down, I hunted this man down <laughs> to sponsor me in this business. When I found out about Box Life, I, uh, one of my colleagues, a very respected physician, told me about Vox Life, and um, I went on LinkedIn, and I saw one of my good friends, Ro, had joined the company as a corporate executive at Vox. And I remember contacting Ro, saying, what the heck is this all about? I travel from coast to coast with my work. My feet swell terribly on these cross-country flights, and I'm looking for some relief for that. So if this neurotech deal works, I said, I'm all about it. So... Rose Grace, she had just started with Vox Life. So she got a hold of me, but, but, but you know, Ro got a hold of me maybe like 40, 48 hours after the fact. I contacted Terry within three hours of, of researching this company. I don't, I don't waste time. So I dug through Facebook, LinkedIn, and found this guy. And um, he was in, on vacation in the Dominican with his family and I said as soon as you get back we have to talk and, and we did and boy did we ever and so I ordered six hundred dollars worth of socks and because I just knew that Ro would not go to a company that she had not vetted because she had extreme credibility with me. I said this woman left her job to 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 join this company. There's something here. I need some relief and Terry gave me the belief. 
I needed relief and belief is what I needed. And I had both. And so I signed up both feet and I have not looked back. It's been what, maybe eight, 10 weeks or so, Terry. I'm, I, don't, I can't really remember when I, right. when I joined, but it's been just it such a whirlwind. Week. Yeah, probably about, because Lana came on shortly after and I think she was just at three or four weeks last week. So yeah, it's got to be, you know, seven, eight weeks, some, somewhere in there. It seems like it was only yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Wow, we've had fun. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Team leader and Lana came up right behind me. Um, team leader, Dr. Lana Contos, my, my dear sister and friend for many, many years and so excited to, to be running along with her and, and so many other of my team members. I got to get a shout out to, you know, Dr. First, Dr. Lana and you know, Gary Nobles and Paul Berry and Diane Dinkmeyer and uh, Dorothy Sullivan and others. I'm sure there's tons, Kim Pace, all these people, but they have taken this and they have become boxified. They've had their vaccination is what I call it. You know, they vaccinated. Yeah, like a shot, vaccinated. And they're just all out 100%. So I'm just thrilled to have them. And I have to just say one last thing before we get started, that Jay is a, he's a genius. To come up with this technology and to have the foresight and to make the decision to go the direct sales route with something that this is incredible is a gift for all of us. So it's a gift from God. Like my friend Lana said last time, I truly believe that, and, and, and get, get, Jay has passed it on to us. So I'm just, I'm just thrilled to be here. But I want to share with you tonight the concept of um, the winning mindset of high performance and what the formula is for that. I've had the pleasure of being a, an executive leadership coach at Duke University for their um, global executive MBA program. And so I, I, I know a thing or two about leadership and business and how it works. And so, in fact, I know something about all of you on this call tonight that you didn't know. I know. I know that each of you on this call possess at least one of the top three characteristics of all top achievers worldwide. That's across all industries, it's across geography, it doesn't matter. So the first characteristic of all top achievers worldwide, number one, is that they're students of the game. And being a student of the game is someone who is constantly learning, always sharpening the saw, always looking for opportunities to be the best they can be. They don't wait for people to tee up opportunities for them. They're constantly looking for ways to grow and to learn and to be the best. And keep in mind, this is just the top 2% of everyone worldwide. And I know that's all of you on this call because you showed up tonight. Some people didn't show up. You know, things happen, I understand that. But top achievers, they find a way to do the things that are necessary because they take accountability and responsibility for their own success. So that's number one. Number two is that all top achievers, they have a no excuse attitude. They believe that if it's to be, it's up to me. And sure, we'll stipulate that life is hard and business can be challenging sometimes, the economy sucks sometimes and things just don't play very right for us sometimes. But We'll stipulate that, but we'll find a way, voluntarily, we'll choose to find a way around it, through it, under it, whatever it takes to come up with a solution. We may not have the answer, but we will find a way to get it done. Now, we don't have to do it. We can certainly wait for someone else to come up with a solution, and you know, we can wait around for it, and, and that's okay. But that's the majority of the population. The top 2%, they voluntarily decide to lead the way in that regard. So number one is they're students of the game, always learning. Number two, no excuse attitude. The responsibility and accountability is mine. And the final characteristic of all top achievers and leaders worldwide is that they take action now. There was a study that was done by Southwestern Consulting, which came up with this study. They actually did this. I'm gonna give them all the credit. They did the research. They came up and they extracted these three characteristics. The final one being take action now. There's a word for that. It starts with the P. They don't procrastinate. So they'll show up for a call like this or they'll um, take a class or read a book or meet someone interesting and they'll glean some very valuable knowledge. But they won't just leave it at that. They'll actually voluntarily decide to adopt that and take that and use it to their advantage to be the best they can be. 
So I will challenge you this evening as we go through some of these things, take one, two, maybe three, but no more than three items that you will voluntarily choose to adopt and to incorporate into your own life to be the best that you can be. So with that being said, let's move into the training. But I want you to know that I know you have at least the first one. I suspect you have all three characteristics because you're part of Vox Life. You guys are brilliant people. So um, we're going to continue on with the training. But um, I'm going to share with you a few things that I share with the people at Duke University. Now, I work with CEOs and senior level executives around the world, and they spend about 185 grand a, a year um, for this degree. And I'm just gonna give you some of that info tonight, okay? So, Carrie, you think it's okay if I, if I share some of this info with the folks tonight? I don't think it mind, do you? Yeah. I can just give no, I'm free. for sure. Okay, okay, just don't tell Duke folks, but I'm gonna just give you some of this, this content tonight. Um, when you talk about top achievers, there's a reason why the title is the winning mindset and the formula. So you have to start with the proper mindset before you get into the skill set. I can get right into the nuts and bolts of how you build and how you grow and how you get to your dreams, but without the proper mindset, the mindset is actually the fuel that really propels the dream forward. Because I can give you a rote set of skills to go out and do, and it just be, it logically to be brilliant. Okay, this is great. But without the, the mindset to go after it, it really won't go very far. So let's talk about the mindset of the top achiever. First of all, top achievers have this, this innate feeling of responsibility and accountability. They don't wait for people to, to bring them anything. They take it upon themselves to go after it. And so when I teach the people at Duke, I spend three and four months working with them on a concept called personal leadership. Personal leadership means before I can lead and influence anyone else, I first have to lead and influence myself. I have to be true to myself. I have to lead myself. And so to be the leader of your own life and to be an influencer with others, you have to know what you stand for, know what you believe in, and know what you're willing to live and die for. Those are the true characteristics of a leader that really knows who they are, but very few leaders I've found have taken the time to really go deep and to really have these principles and these beliefs that are true to them. So it takes some time. Um, I always recommend unplugging for a day. You know, um, Box has a great little exercise that comes in our Getting Started Guide. It's an exercise that asks us, what are our dreams? Where do we see ourselves in the next three to five years? I remember being on the airplane when I opened up my Box Box and I was going through that booklet and I said, oh my gosh, I love filling this out because it's a chance to really put down on paper where I'm going. It's my direction. It's my reason why I want to do this. And I know how important it is for me to be the leader of my own life. I know it's important for me to have a vision. And when I coach CEOs, I tell them, what's your vision for your company? And they'll give me all these rote answers and statistics. And I said, no, I want to know what your vision is for your life. I don't know about you. And again, sometimes I'll get some of the rope information, you know, my goal, every, all these numbers and statistics, but I want to know the heart of the individual. Because until we know who we are and what we stand for, we won't be able to become authentic. And that's the secret sauce of influence is, is, is authenticity and, and, and really speaking from the heart so that people will know you're the real deal. But if you don't know who you are and what you stand for, how do you know how to behave? How do you know? How do you know? Because people are watching us all the time. They're watching to see if we have integrity. And integrity is the congruence between our actions and our words. Mm -hmm. Does our walk match our talk? And so if we say that we're, we value people, we want to help people, and yet we don't reach out to people to help people, are we really walking the talk? So I really feel that um, knowing your values, knowing your beliefs, what you stand for is critical um, in this process. So personal leadership is about responsibility and about accountability. Do you have a compelling vision for where you want to go with Fox? Because I have one. I had to have a vision for where I wanted to go. How could I be a credible leader if I don't know where I'm going personally? And I don't believe that. I don't live that every day. You know, I see people like, you know, 
Lana Contos, other people on my team, and um, Gary and, and Paul, if I'm not living my values, things that I espouse, if I say I want to help people, I want to help bring a, a help us reach a billion people because I care about people, and yet I'm not out there doing the work. I'm not representing and modeling what my passion and my belief is, but they're going to question that. And so I want to make sure that I am modeling my beliefs, but I can show other people how to do it. And every day, my goal, my responsibility is to make sure that I am living in integrity with that. So when I wrote down in my booklet what my vision was for Box, which will be my guiding principles, which will be my leadership principles, which will be my philosophy that I can speak about and more importantly live to, is that I want to share the love. And that term, share the love, came out of a conversation I had with two of my new team members, Gary Nobles and, and Paul Berry. We were sitting having coffee in, in a um, Panera Coffee bread shop one day, and they had just signed on. And I was speaking from my heart because I'm, I'm, I'll go back to my vision and my belief. That's where I can be authentic. That's where people will, will trust me and believe me. And I said, you know, guys, what this is about, this is just about sharing love. And he said, that's it. That's it. It's about sh that, that's our team motto, sharing. We're going to go out and just share the love. Because when you come from a position of, of authenticity and passion and belief that you're doing something truly valuable, that this is your life's mission, that's all the fuel that I need. So, so we were getting pumped up and jazzed up and we're talking about this is our, our vision and our mission. And, and now we're thinking, okay, now we have the fuel. Now we need the vehicle to drive it. So that's the system. That's, that's the, the formula. That's the next step. So we start with the mindset. Then we go with the system or the formula. Does that make sense? First, we have to have the, the, um, the fuel and the passion that drives whatever system we're going to use to success. And so we're going to talk about what system we use in a minute. So we talked about share the love. And we also talked about the fact that um, for me, I have a full-time job being a, a professional speaker, coach, trainer, and all of that. I travel a lot, but I'm, I'm, I'm very passionate about this company and what it can do for my family financially as well. And so in my mind, I wrote down if I had the chance to invest in Nike or Lululemon back in the day and someone says, Angela, do you want to invest in this company? And I know you don't have a gazillion dollars to invest in stock, but you know what? I'm going to let you invest anyway, but it's a different kind of investment, a little, a little sweat equity. You know, can you just tell two people a day about Nike or Lululemon? And then, you know, that, and count that as being just dividends and paying for stock in the company. I would be all over that. Yes, yes, and yes, yes. <laughs> Box life is just as big as that. We have an opportunity every day to make an investment in a huge, huge initiative, a huge organization that changes lives where we, all we have to do every single day is to invest a little sweat equity. And that is sharing this opportunity. So now I'm kind of moving us closer to the system, to the method. Okay, so we have the passion. We have our, we, we sat down, we have our vision. We talked about our vision and the passion. That's the fuel. Now give me something. Give me the concrete steps that I need to use to drive this baby on home. And I know in my mind, part of my vision is I am going to invest in this company for financial independence for my family. I'm going to invest every single day by talking to two people every single day is my investment. If someone said to me, Angela, every single day, if you can show up at Fort Knox and back your truck up and go in there and you have 20 minutes to pull out as much gold and put it into the back of your truck, would you do it? I said, heck yes, I'd be there every single day. This is the same opportunity we have with Vox Life. You have an opportunity to symbolically back your truck up into Fort Knox and put as much gold in there as you possibly can. Okay, so here's what I mean by that. Here's the analogy. A little bit of investment in time can yield monumental results. I think um, Dr. Lana Contos alluded to it a little bit last week. She, she gave you the first part of the formula. She says that she makes two contacts a day. Because when she joined the team, I had to help give her something 
concrete that she can use and fit into her busy schedule as a doctor. I said, Lana, you don't have to, you don't have to upset the apple cart. I said, this is an investment in our future every single day. If you can afford to spend 15 minutes or 20 minutes in Fort Knox, that means go in there, make two contacts a day consistently, two contacts a day. That's the first, okay, really it's called the two plus two plus two strategy. And I have to give my shout out to my friend, Diane Dinkmeyer, who came up with this years, years ago. This is a system that has everybody's influence in it. But the first two, so the two plus two plus two strategy is to send out two videos a day or to make two personal contacts a day. That's the first two. The next two to the formula is to follow up with two people that you've sent the video to. The next two is to check up on two people that have the socks. So it's two plus two plus two. Okay, I'm gonna say it again. So you wanna send out two videos a day or have two personal contacts a day. That's the first two. The second part, follow up with two people who you've sent the video to. And then the, sec the third one is check up on someone who has the socks. Two plus two plus two equals six figures if you do this every single day for a year. If I told you that it took you, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes a day to do this, and you knew that the net result would be six figures, would you do it? There's a word there, there's an operative word there that I want you to mention because I said consistently. See, this is not rocket science and doesn't, you know, I train at NASA and I, and I is is that this is so simple that it's easy just to blow off and not do any of it see that's that's the thing if you can find a way and i'm going to teach i'm going I'm to tell you about a way to do that if you can find a way to be consistent in doing their two plus two plus two and lana does it five days a week Monday through Friday, because that's what she can commit to in order to be consistent. I have coached executives and leaders in different industries, even outside of direct sales, insurance people, finance, mortgage brokers, investment people in sales who have deduced their critical success factors, whatever that is for their business, their income producing activities, if they can deduce those and to, to um, um, hone in on those three things that they can do every single day consistently over a period of time, it nets millions of dollars. I've seen it. I've been coaching these people for the last eight years. I just never have had a product that I can get excited about where I can actually implement it myself with a team. So I am over the moon excited to be able to, to do this. But it's just a simple thing. And so what we've done on our team is we, first of all, as a leader and other leaders on the team, because I tell everybody on the team, we're all leaders. Because leadership, as my friend John Maxwell says, who I love spending time with him twice a year, he says, leadership is not title or position, it's having influence. We're all influencers. We're all influencing someone, somehow, some way. Um, but what kind of influencer are you? Because of yours. It's not Oh, I think someone made me move. <laughs> yeah, just one second here. I'm going to see if I can uh, see who's not muted here. Give me one sec, Lana. You do have the ability, folks, to mute yourself, so you can uh, please mute yourself if you're not muted. Okay, I think we're all good now, Lana. Or um, Angela, sorry. Is it good? Yeah, we're all good. It's okay. No worries. So, so the thing is, two plus two plus two is a simple formula. The challenge is the consistency in implementing this formula. So, but we have some we have something for you for that as well. So, I have another thing we came up with. It's called two plus two plus two plus one equals seven. Seven figures. So, let's say you're a leader, and you want to build and grow so we say that synetrics you still send out your two videos a day or make two contacts a day you still do two follow-ups a day and you check up on two people a day who have the socks i mean the, the plus one is 
touch base with one of your team members, one of your builders every single day. You do that consistently over time. And let's just even break it down from, let's not even say a year. Let's just say, let's just do it in two week increments. I don't know, five days. Let's break it down to even one day increment because how we do success on, on our team is we don't judge success by how many people we bring into the business or how many people we sponsor or how much we sell. We want to know, do we actually show up and do our two plus two plus two that day? It's like showing up at the gym at, I don't know, 6 a.m. and putting in your workout, getting it done. You say you have a goal that you want to look great and feel great, but you don't show up at the gym and meet your trainer. So this is showing up at the gym for your job, for your work, for Fox. And it takes 15 minutes, though, to put it in. Two calls, two videos, sending them out, follow up, check in, and then check in with one of your, your team members. If you do that, give yourself a gold star for the day. We actually, I actually went out and got some gold stars from Staples or Office Depot, and I put on my calendar, hey, I got my six in. I did my, six, my two plus two plus two because Lana sends me, because we have an accountability things set in because we know that we're successful not by how many people we sponsor or how many socks we sell but that we do our two plus two plus two because if we do this consistently over time we're going to win period because it's about the activity so when she gets her six in she'll send me a text six and done what i do i'll send her back six star emojis six six because i know hey i see you great job and so i'll send her the same thing hey i got my six in sometimes we get it in at i don't know 6 a.m. Sometimes we get in at 6 p.m. Well, I'll just, that's, that's a great point, Lana. And this is just, this is spectacular. And I'm Angela. I know we look alike, but I'm Angela, not Lana. <laughs> I got Lana on the brain every time you mentioned Lana. Um, <laughs> Angela, your, your, um, your point of two plus two plus two, and then even plus one is just absolutely fabulous because it's just keeping the team engaged. But it brings out a point of accountability partners. And I think it's a key point that you made that, that you and Lana are accountable as, as sort of accountability partner, um, partners. So just tell, tell us a little bit, tell the audience a little bit about what you think and, and how advantageous it might be for people to, that are building together to be accountability partners and to check in with each other. Talk a little bit more about that for a second. Oh, absolutely. You know, when you pick your accountability part, because because I do this even in corporate corporations, we talk about, you know, you don't have to hire a coach. I mean, people pay me a lot of money to coach them, to hold them accountable, to do simple things, because left to our own devices, we'll probably do none of them. So it's good to have, and I say, you don't have to have me, but find someone who is on the same track as you, someone who will hold you accountable and knows the importance of that. So don't, have an accountability partner for accountability partner's sake. Find someone, be very selective, and someone who can match your intensity and will understand what you're trying to achieve. But I absolutely, 100%, and accountability partner. Somebody that's going in the same direction as you and wants the same, you know, has very high goals. And I think one of the biggest things that we do as humans, we, it's not that we don't have goals, it's just we don't, we don't set big enough ones. And uh, yeah. you know, accountability partners that, that are going in the same direction on your team, you know, I think it's, you know, whether it's an accountability group or, um, you know, I think, you know, no more than three in accountability groups is, is enough because you hold each other accountable. Um, getting too many, it just gets diluted, I think. Um, but I think it's a great thing that you and Lana do, and I think it's going to have a lot of value tonight on our call. Um, and, and it's a simple system that you've created, two plus two plus two. Um, it keeps you engaged. It keeps you on track to, you know, um, reach your goals. And, and, it's, and it's a great thought. And accountability, accountability partner is a key component of this for sure. So thank you for that. Absolutely. Well, you know, and then it also, too, the, the whole two plus two plus two plus two came to me um, as, as a gift from Diane Dinkmeyer back in the day when we were in our in a direct sales company back in the day. So that is where that came from. But I think to kind of punctuate that, we did add that component of the don't get discouraged and don't think that, see, we're, we're kind of re, 
defining what success looks like. Success typically is the home runs, the touchdowns, and and the goals, those types of things. You know, score, you score the goal. I mean, that's great and that's good. That's going to happen. But, you know, there's work that goes on in practice. There's work that goes on before the game. There's work that goes on that people don't see that prepares people for success. And so by showing up every day and preparing for success, that's what you're doing with this formula. So when you show up and give 150% during practice or before the game, when you show up and just put in your time, I'm not talking about 15 minutes or so, 20 minutes, by doing this, you're preparing yourself and you can give yourself a star. I rocked it. I crushed it today. Give yourself a star. And so I had this deal. I can look at my calendar a month in advance and look and see how I'm tracking. Because if I have consistent stars on that day, I know that next month is going to be explosive. Mm -hmm. So I want to have explosive months every month, but I got to do the work and the preparation up front. And so I judge my success. Did I do my two plus two plus two today? Yes. Great. I'm, I'm just building the, building the well, building, building it up and great. I'm getting stronger. I'm getting stronger and getting prepared. And so that's what this is about. And so I think redefining this kind of helps, even helps people who could all get down and get discouraged sometimes when we have the expectation on, did I sponsor someone today or did I, you know, sell something, but don't let that be your barometer for success. Just get in there and do the work and the other will come. It will come because you're going to get really, really good at it through the consistency. There's a book that I always tell my team to get. It's called The Power of Consistency. And I can't think of the author of the, um, of the book right now, but it's a yellow book with a cover. And maybe somebody can text me. My friends can text me on the call. But um, The Power of Consistency, that book is the most compelling book I've read in a game changer because you can take any simple formula like this. And if you don't consistently do it, it's not going to go very far. And so it teaches the power of consistency. It's awesome. So I don't know. Does anybody have any questions? It's just about mindset. Just to kind of recap, it's about the mindset. We sat down as a team. Every time I bring someone on board, I want to know their reason why. What's your passion? What's your reason? Because that's going to be the fuel. I can give you a system of two plus two plus two, you know, just be a system. It won't have any momentum or fuel or passion behind it until we put it behind it through our mission. And, and so yeah, it's so funny because I'm not doing a shameless plug at all, but I just finished my first little publication workbook. It's, it's just for leaders that I've been kind of going through. It's, um, it helps leaders just kind of determine their purpose, their passion, their mission, so that they can be authentic, so that they can communicate with people. They can influence people better because they know who they are. And they don't have to sell from statistics or rote information. They can just share from their heart, being a genuine, passionate person about what's important to them. And so when they do that, that's going to be the fuel that's going to drive them to be consistent with their two plus two plus two formula or their two plus two plus two plus one formula. Sure. So yeah. any questions? Yeah, there's a text. Um, one of the uh, questions we have, um, uh, Ellen, um, come out in Boston is is text or messenger an appropriate way to connect you know I use it just to tee up the converse I don't want to get too much my strategy my formula is I don't give too much information to where I want the video to do the work for me I send out videos because of my schedule so I don't do too many face-to-face -face meetings I will use messenger to say hey I don't have your phone number I want to I want to send you something to take a look at would that be okay so I'll get their permission that way, but I don't, um, I want them to see the video. So I guess if they can use, I guess Instant Messenger, you can use, watch the video through Instant Messenger too. So whatever way you can get the video to them works for me. I found that texting is better because they see it. Sometimes I do, I did Instant Messenger and it wasn't open for like a week <laughs> because they hadn't checked their email or checked Instant Messenger. So I will use Instant Messenger to get their cell phone number and ask permission to send them something interesting that I want them to take a look at. Yeah, and I think there's, I mean, I don't think there's any replacement for good old fashioned pick up the phone and say hello, or pick up the phone and say, hey, can we talk for five minutes? You know, maybe start mm -hmm. out, I, because I think sometimes, and Angela, maybe you feel the same way, is sometimes things can be lost, passion can't be felt necessarily in a text. 
And um, certainly I think, you know, picking up a phone and, and calling somebody is still the best way to have a conversation and get to know somebody. And um, because passion is infectious. And um, so I think that's a, that's, you know, we can't forget about, we, we just have this thing called internet. We have this thing called cell phones and text and so on. But I think this is a business of passion and it's about sharing the love. And so when you follow up with people and share it, they want to feel that. So don't be afraid to use it. Exactly. Don't get me wrong. Um, the two plus two plus two, the first part is only to tee up a conversation. It's to promote entry. Um, there, I have never got someone to get the socks without a phone conversation. <laughs> typically. So the, the, the text is just, hey, check this out. That's my way to gauge interest. Because as soon as they say, this is interesting, great when can we talk so that's just part of the process just so you know i wasn't clear on that i don't operate my business totally just from technology i think yeah you're right there's no way they can feel my passion you can talk to my friend diane dinkmeyer you know i send her a text first it was through instant through facebook instant messenger i said hey girlfriend i don't have your i don't have your phone number what's your phone number? i need to do something kind of cool then i got her phone number i sent her the the text with the, with the video, the uh, getting the kind of take, you know, take a look video, getting started video. Mm -hmm. She goes, this is interesting. I said, great. When can we talk? Can we talk for, gosh, 45 minutes because we had it's the passion. And so that's how it works. So it just opens up the door. It helps you gauge interest. Yeah. And um, so that's why we say that. Yeah. So do you, you don't have necessarily a preferred, Jenna's asking, is there a preferred method of contact for introduction and follow-up? And um, you know, how would you, what is your preferred method that you use for contact and introduction? My preferred method is what I just said. I, I like to send, I like to promote intrigue because if I, I don't want to give out too much information. I don't want to, cause I don't want to miss something. And the video does a much better job of explaining the technology than I ever could. So in order because if that video doesn't make you interested then you know i'm going to move on right now to the next one because it either is going to resonate right away or it's not so i will send the video if there's interest great when's a good time for us to talk and we get on the phone and we'll talk and what normal what video do you usually start with angela do you is there a particular video you start with yeah there's one um i guess it's called getting started it's like with thoughts it's the one no the benefits i'm sorry the benefits yeah, yeah, okay. Video. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's the one with the um, performance, which is when I send out for my um, athletic types. Perfect. But most people I'll send the benefits video. Yes. Oh, somebody to them. Found the power of consistency, Weldon Long. Oh, awesome. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Great book. That will be a game changer because it's all about consistency. I guarantee you, if you show me your, I, I would challenge people who are going to Toronto, if you see me, Show me your calendar with like checks and stars and, and let me know five days a week if you've done that because I can guarantee you you're doing now in Toronto, you will see some definite, definite increase in your business. We're, we're pretty new at this. I don't know how many people we have on the team now, Terry, but I mean, it's not just Lana. I mean, I got Gary Nobles is on fire doing the same thing. I mean, he used to play for the NFL. And it's about his passion, number one, that's the fuel. The system oh, is, the, is the engine. His passion is infectious. I love that guy, man. I can't wait to meet him in Toronto. He is on fire. <laughs> I love him, man. He, get, he has enough passion to shoot a rocket ship. I mean, the guy. So, so now he has a system with that kind of firepower passion. I mean, it's the sky's the limit, literally. You know, no pun intended. But it is. Um, but that's why I said mindset. And then you have the formula. But you got to get the mindset right. You got to make sure that you know why you're doing this you got to know um deeply you know who you are what you stand for so you can tell people so it will resonate That's and they'll right. just love you for it so now Susanna, any other questions Susanna wisman uh was asking um about sending the links um to the four two minute video so we can copy to our phones now those videos are all in your back office people um so they're all the uh videos that, that are there so um uh, you can just go in your back office and get them. I don't, I don't think we need to have um, Angelo sending out videos or whatever. They're all there. The, the videos are. Yeah, I got them from the back office. And there's other others back there as well. Yeah, and I think. But um, 
Jeff O'Donnell is awesome. He just posted all the videos, video one, video two, video three, and all the links are there. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff, right awesome. on. What a shout out. <laughs> to um, and you know what? Uh, Brenna Bovair said, I believe people are numb to emails and inbox messages. Well, text messages are powerful. Um, and I know that. Mm -hmm. are yes. Um, powerful. And it's simply, you know, sometimes just creating those relationships with people to get started and just simply saying, hey, what's up? You know, what's up gets a lot of attention. No, or how are you doing? Absolutely. Simple thing. And, yeah. Uh, and uh, that's, uh, that's exactly. Uh, yeah. I just want to create intrigue. Yeah. It's, um, let me just see if there's any more questions here. I just don't know how to send it to people. Sorry. Um, yes. Thanks so much. Let me put this into action. Yes. Um, so, Joanne, we'll get somebody to help you with how to save and send it to people. Um, we, we know that uh, we all need help sometimes when it comes to technology. So, um, but, you know, don't be in this business, folks, I've said it before. Um, don't be afraid to embrace technology. We, we all, you know, have glitches in computers and don't, don't be afraid of it. Um, and don't feel that you're, you know, not smart or anything like that. But we all have to embrace this technology and get through it. But we're in the world of technology. We're in the world of social media. You either embrace it and use it, or you're gonna get left behind. That's the reality. And so don't be afraid of it. Um, that's that's for sure. So the two plus two plus two is a consistent program for sure. I love it. I think it's just spectacular. And I think, okay, well, people, if you're gonna take a few days off here and there, and you know that's coming up, like I've been up at the lodge here um, doing my my um, part-time gig entertaining guests and, and working and Lana, we had an earlier conversation today and it was just so cool to be up here and be able to talk to my teammates and and so on with the power of technology and zoom and so on but if you're going to stay on that consistent program of two plus two plus two and you're going to take a few days you might want to do four plus four plus four the average out your two plus two plus two am i correct in saying that angela well, you know, exactly, because I've never, I mean, I've always done extra, and because it's just the nature of who I am, and, and Lana will send me things, okay, I got like 10 in today, <laughs> because I sometimes used to do more, and so yeah, leaders, because if you're going to be the leader of your own business, you're the CEO of your own business, you know, you got to prepare for those types of things, because no one is responsible, like we talked about earlier, the top three characteristics, if it's sure. to be, it's up to me, so you got to make sure you plan for that. Absolutely. It's part of taking charge, taking responsibility for your business. Yeah. And I think, you know, I'm looking, we know that, you know, putting a plan into effect is fantastic and staying consistent at, at it is, is key. But it, but there's already been some people on here that have ordered that, that book already on the power of consistency, which I've already seen. Hey, somebody said, hey, I've already ordered on Amazon. They put the link up for Amazon. Uh, Amy will add. Awesome. You know, um, so Woo! it's awesome. That's taking action. And I think it's so key that people have to, you know, invest in themselves and, and be yeah. ready to go. And so one of the key things is with this business is events and training. You know, it's one thing to be consistent. It's one thing to, you know, do it, but your passion builds with every event. Your passion builds with these training calls. Your passion builds with sock and soul parties. It's all part of doing your business. Let's just quickly talk for five minutes about your thoughts on events and training events, Angela, and how key they are yeah. to, to building a business for those that haven't necessarily got a ticket yet, or what your thoughts are on, on how key they are to building. Oh my goodness. It's, um, <clears throat> you know, people, you know, I've seen studies, people spend more money on maintaining their cars every year than they do on personal development and because I train and teach and coach for a living I know that so people people will spend maybe $240 a year to get oil change on their car but it'd be hard-pressed to get them to spend a couple of bucks on investing in themselves and it just makes no sense because the top two percent of people that we admire from afar they do things that other people aren't willing to do. And we talked about those top three characteristics. The number one being students of the game. You've got to be the one to lead the way, to be the first person in the room to raise your hand and say, yes, I'm going. Because those are the leaders, those are the people who are going to step forward and say, because it's important that I invest in me. 
It's no one's responsibility but myself. And so when you go to these trainings and you learn so much, you always come out better than you did when you, when you got there. There's always something to learn. But it has to be part of that mindset. It has to be the top achiever's mindset. And if it doesn't come natural, then we have to find a way to surround ourselves with people where it is natural because that's part of our responsibility as well. But I would say be around people, be around people of like mind. That's why another reason why I go to have a room of people who are fired up, who are the top 2% of people worldwide to get a group of them together in one spot. You can't put a price tag on that. You can't put a price tag. And so I, I don't miss it. I, I, I invest at least I have a budget that I put out every year just so I'll know that, hey, I gotta, this is personal development. I got I to gotta sharpen the saw. I got to be sharp. And, and it's my responsibility and no one else's. Well, you know what? It's, it's amazing when you think, Paul Austin said he just reached out uh, to Messenger. It's, it's, it's funny. Um, she, um, you know, it, it's one of those things where you just reach out and you just say, hello, I got something to share or whatever and send them, the, you know, get the permission to send it. People are always interested in looking at a two minute video. And yeah. you know, I'm just thrilled. I've learned to answer the question, Susanna. Um, Angela's been with Vox about seven weeks, I think now. Um, and she's been traveling a lot and speaking and she's been on tour and she's been all over, but we've been able to embrace technology and, and get to know each other and, and work together. And, and I mean, Angela and I talk probably, you know, twice a week as well. Um, and that, that's usually the way it is when somebody's getting started right in the beginning, you, you tend to talk more until, because there's questions and so on. But Angela's been seven weeks, but her passion for this, because she finally found a product that she can back into Fort Knox and fill her trunk up with gold because this is for everyone. Have you ever seen a business where your demographic is everyone? I mean, it's incredible. It's just I mean, it's, yeah. usually, it's like, okay, it's for energy or it's for performance or it's a skin or it's what, but you know, a lot of the, what we have in this company here is something that everyone needs. Every person in the world needs this because every person needs to live their life in homeostasis in balance and they will enjoy their life better. And so our, our demographic is everyone. So you'll never run out of people. I mean, the world's a big, big place. <laughs> And, uh, and if you truly believe that that's your mission and that's what you need to do, you're going to be uninhibited. You're not going to want to hold back. I and mean, I see people in airports with canes and I'm just like, because I have to be authentic. It's part of my who I am. I've taken time to uncover who I am and what I stand for. I want to help people. And I'm, I'm unashamed of that. So, and I know that I know that this is a gift from God and I'm going to be authentic and uninhibited. And so that's where my my um confidence comes from you know but to, to approach anyone i can approach anyone in the world right now it doesn't matter what kind of title or position because i know from my passion and my belief to be authentic i have to share it and that's my fuel i mean it would be a terrible thing to have all this i mean i've, I've had this fuel for so long this passion inside of me and just been looking for a vehicle like vox to be able to move it forward so I'm extremely excited if you can't tell, but, um, but get that belief, you guys. The belief will make you bold. Belief yeah. makes you bold, and, and, your, and your mission makes you bold. So get that. That's the fuel, unbridled fuel. Just, just go and then work that system, and I guarantee you, with the power of consistency, you cannot fail. The only way this will fail, I can, I've seen people build – multi-million dollar businesses with simple extracting three simple income producing activities daily the only way it fails is that they don't do it that's the only way and so I'll, I'll i'll go back and i'll look at their calendars and say oh too many blanks here with no stars i said yeah i said we kind of could predict this right yeah. so get an accountability partner and just keep just to the daily disciplines it's like money in the bank it compounds over time you put a you put some money here you know, in the bank, and yeah, it's not much now, but you just keep working it over time. All of a sudden, you see the compound interest. It's like, whoa! See, that's how I feel about Vox. This is my investment. This is my this is my Nike, my Lululemon, where all the muckety mucks with all the big cash got to invest in those companies. Well, this is my chance. 
but I get to invest a little sweat equity doing two plus two plus two. And the net compound result of this with me being consistent over time is going to blow it out of the water. Yeah. And everybody, we're going to get to a billion. It's just no doubt. I've already, I just, I've already just said it. We planned yeah. it and it's just a done deal. I've got it written down. It's a done deal when it's a 76% increase or possibility of achieving it when you write it down. And um, so oh, yes, I just, I absolutely love your passion. I'm just thrilled that you've decided to link arms with me and Vox Life. We got things to rock, girl. And I was just absolutely, Let's do it. I was absolutely thrilled to, to have you on the call tonight. And thank you for, for doing it. I know you haven't been with Vox Life that long. And to step right up and do the training is, is a, a sheer indication of what a pro you are. And I'm so blessed to have yeah. you. And it's so great to meet the, the passionate people that you're bringing here that are getting results. And you've got so much to offer this team. And I'm just excited for you to be here. And I'm even more pumped to spend time in Toronto at our training. I can't wait. That's going to be fantastic. Everybody come to Toronto. Everybody on the call. We have a great time. Let's, be, let's meet up in Toronto. It'll be so much fun. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be awesome. So, Lana, I'm going to say one thing to to uh, Lana on the call. <laughs> What I'm gonna do, you know, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start saying my name is Angela Lana. Could you keep saying? No, I was gonna say I wanted to say something to Lana oh. because I know that your oh. team is connected, and uh, Lana didn't let the spill the beans last last week on the two plus two plus two, but I'm sure she was aware of it and knew it. So oh, she was aware. Kudos to, yes. to Lana on the call for not uh, spilling the beans on the on the two plus two plus two. So I'm just uh, absolutely thrilled. Um, and so thank you so much for being on this call. I know. Uh, thank you, Terry. Thank you. You're awesome. You're an awesome leader. Thank you so much. We're glad to have you. Thank you, everybody. I'm going to unmute everybody and we'll all say good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good Night, Terry. Thank you. Well done, buddy. Thank you. See everybody in Toronto. Yeah. Toronto, thanks so much. Bye, guys.